Hi, this is Sunny Panda here back with some more startup company. We decided last time to pull out our money from Snappy Clips' shares and that's exactly what we are going to do. So we are going to sell all our shares and get back $800,000 that puts us over 1 mil and we'll wait for the stocks to fall. At the same time, we could buy back stocks in our own company if we go into company profile and uh, maybe not company profile finance. Where was that? Um, employees, company profile. I swear, was it in the product? I guess it was in the product venture capital so I can buy back parts of the shares parts of investments so let's say we buy back this cut okay now we own 52% again you received a new email Ah, we received an offer from JH capital once again I think where do I check my email okay here we go the investment offer has come back with even more interesting but I think I think we're doing we're doing we're doing proper we're doing well we need to go swap over and probably service our racks here hmm we may have to build a new cabinet Or should or do you think we can push our product a little? I think we can push our product a little before we go all out. Let's say okay, tall rack. Buy another tall rack, place it next to it. Add device. 150, 150, 300. Oh, we are going to Whoa. We'll be we'll be running over budget if we go for the best stuff we may need to go for our 2u web server that we were so we go for 2u web server a small rack cooler 2u cache server a small rack cooler and a 2u database server and just configure all of this configure and run it okay so this can probably run at 200% clock rate maybe not maybe not I'll have to tone it down 187 187 and 187 our temperatures have gone up though and now yeah the servers here are choking up Let's go for another regular AC. And I think yeah, we're back we're back in normal. We're back in the green. Let's swap back to our office. Our server should be doing a lot better, especially once we reach little parity again. Oh, we are on parity here. Okay, and video functionality we're pretty much on parity here too. Now we are not, of course, but we were 30, 32, fine. Now, actually, our product should have, look at that. Our potential user count is huge. So we need to run marketing campaigns. I may need to hire another marketer. Oh, I've kept her on training. Let's stop the training and let's have her start building modules again. But she's faster now. Those, that training has actually helped her. And um, we can still anytime we want accept that investment offer from JH. We are making a loss now, but we are going to turn that around in no time. We're going to turn it around in no time. We just need our marketer to finish building the modules. And she's almost completed them. I'm going to wait until she builds 
enough modules that we can run a two day campaign. So I'll cut back once we are at that stage. I was in the market looking for a new marketer and I have found a good candidate, Kevin Bishop. So I'm going to pick him and we're going to stop the recruitment process. Give him this table. Research all. Can she? Oh yes, she has also researched all. And uh, which manager is free? One, two, three, four. You're going to manage Kevin too? Who's managing the other marketer? You know, I'd probably like Ricardo to manage Kevin. And I'm going to take away Eric from Ricardo, give him Kevin, and going to put Eric on Susan's management. So she manages all our devs, which is perfect, right? I hope it's perfect. Valuations have been updated. So now we have two marketers working round the clock, well, almost round the clock, working business hours, creating uh, blocks that we require modules that we require let's check up on our oh this candidate is fine company profile video sharing service we have taken over oh we are not last or second last anymore we have left behind snappy clips and ultra video Ultra video stock is crashing. Something we may need to keep an eye out on. Good, good. Crash and so that I can buy you. Okay. A server is still hitting like the 40% mark and it's it does tend to go into the orange but I think I don't need to meddle with uh, our servers just yet. We just need to do our marketing campaign. And we are almost ready with the modules to run two day worth of banner ads. Because we have two marketers working on it now. So we are producing modules double the speed. Of course, Kali is faster than Kevin who wants an industrial coffee machine. And why is... That's, that's giving him the mood penalty. Hmm. Well, we'll get you your coffee machine once we reach T10 company level, okay? Just one more copywriting module and we can run. There we go, two days. Bam, done. And we are going to see our user base grow significantly. I hope the server's fine. Server will hold down fine, no worries. Uh, we can actually upgrade our efficiency to match the feature levels. Can even upgrade our feature and efficiency here. Look at that. Perfect. We're not even going to hit the potential user's limit. I don't think so. Oh, we have 20. We still have 28 hours left. But I don't think we are going to reach the potential user limit. Or else we could always go for like a bump of five in our landing page for more potential users. Which seems a little scummy. But hey. Landing page is important too. Have you seen Twitch's landing page? It gives you so much information. Have you seen YouTube's landing page? 90% of the content is just from the landing page, okay? So landing page is important. Don't sell the landing page shot. Even if it's a scummy tactic to upgrade only your landing page. We're, no, we're nowhere close to hitting our potential users limit. Revenue has gone up. We are back in green, which is perfect. We'll in fact be ready for a new marketing run again. Thanks to two marketers being there. So we can just keep pumping out marketing campaigns. But we have to space it out because we need to... Look, there's four hours left and we have almost... 
I need to upgrade. Did you see that? It was because we almost reached our potential user limit and I had to upgrade so that we wouldn't bottleneck our marketing, you know? We need to get our whole money's worth, our marketing campaign. And if we bottleneck our own growth, we're not doing that good then. Hmm. Our server's still in green, so that's okay. Our marketing campaign's over. Logan Salazar called in sick. Damn it. Let's work on getting the efficiency back to 35 here, the efficiency parity. And at the same time, keep upgrading our other features. Because we really need the potential user's limit to go up. I hope there was a way to... I don't know if I can... Oh, I can press cancel and go back. That's fine. So now our potential lim user limit has gone up. I will run a marketing campaign once again when we have, say, 900, nine, 910,000 potential user limit. So I think that would be good. And from here, it's just upwards. There's no, there's no losing money. We may have to modify our servers, add more power, add more racks, but that's, that's something we need to keep micromanaging as we go. And that sort of plays with our finance in up and down ways. Paul, Paul Valdez called in sick today. Wow, what's happening? Why are people falling sick? Who the hell was Pearl? A developer. Okay. Uh, we can run another marketing campaign. I'm just going to check our features before we run that. Hmm. Okay. And we have a nice buffer there. So we're going to go and... I could wait for another two-day campaign. Just five more copywriting modules. We'll be done in no time. Two days is more, I feel, bang for the buck. Just because of the number of visitors you get. It, it works out better. I mean, you can run one day twice or two days. It, it doesn't matter. You could even up the budget. And just run it for one day. Up the budget and run it for two days. We don't have enough modules for that. Of course we don't have enough modules for that. 6,800 in revenue. If you're going to venture capital, hmm. We have to gain at least 100. We have to gain ownership of, well, above 50% is good. So we own the majority share. But Johnson Invest has a huge share in our company and we need to, in our product, we need to cut that down. And I'm not sure if by holding shares, share cut, they get that much of a profit too. Say he owns 40% of the share, does he get 40% of the profits? I don't think it works that way. It's more like he just has a stock and he can, if we can buy out his share, he just holds the stock. Like how we did with our other competitor. I don't think he gets profit from it. But hey, you never know. I haven't looked into how exactly that mechanic works in this game. Video functionality, we need parity, right? Yeah, we need parity. But we can do a marketing campaign again. Valuations have been updated. What's our valuation? We're at 7.77 million. What about our competitors? Is Snappy Clips dropping? No, Slappy Clips is rising. But, you know who's dropping? Ultra Video is crashing. From 2.43 all the way to 1.82. We're going to watch the crash owned by dev devs and um, we'll buy them out. We can actually buy them out. We're close to buying them out completely, but you know, we can get there if their stock falls a little more. But let's concentrate on running a marketing campaign again for two days. 
Do we have enough buffer for potential users? I think we do. Efficiency parity. Efficiency parity can't be done here, but I can upgrade, so I'm going to do that. Can efficiency parity be brought in here? Close. We're not we're not burning our server a lot. I like it. I think I can I can push it to 60% maximum, not more than that. But I think I'm doing pretty well in terms of server and we're doing pretty well in terms of earning a profit. It's just 17 brands a month of profit, but it's still a profit. And slowly that's going to rise up. Marketing has 28 hours left and we're still almost 100,000 away from the potential users limit. So that's no worries. We just keep spending a lot of money on building modules is all. That's why our money keeps dwindling down. So we need to, we need to come to a level where even this non-stop production isn't causing us huge loss of income. Hmm. Let's check what's our revenue. 7612 per day and we are earning 30 grand a month now look at that our marketing strategy is working out pretty well this is what this is why i wanted the funds back invest in servers we could even add more power to our second rack and even our first rack in fact hmm I'm happy. I'm happy with the progress. You need to let me know by comments if I'm doing well or not. And if you're what, enjoying watching this, the growth of Panda 2. Because I'm enjoying the game a lot. And the upcoming updates are going to be fantastic. I can't wait for it. I really can't. Try going to sell ads on your own product to make revenue. And selling ads actually causes a little bit of uh, discomfort or drop in happiness. That's great. See, response times are going up and we are going into the unstable realm of things. So we may need to go and tweak our server stuff again. Hmm. Peak CU is 37. And we have still four. We have more than a thousand CU power still left. But yeah. That's cutting it close. It's fine now. We may need to add some more later, but I think I think it's okay now. We could run another marketing campaign after which we may require it. I need to... Oh, efficiency is more than the level, so there we go. Now it's uh, feature and efficiency parity. We need to get the efficiency parity up for the video functionality. But we will be ready to... Hmm. I think we'll be ready to run an another marketing campaign immediately. To push our revenue up further. Let's go. Let's run one. And it's just for a day. Let's see. I think this is going to be the last marketing run for this episode. And after, once that's done, I'm going to end this. But we have made great progress today. Pulling back the funds. I could have maybe waited for the valuation to go up even further. Because Snappy Clips is climbing, right? Yeah. I would have got more now. But hey. It's okay, right? It's okay. Their stocks are ooh, in thousands. Wow. We are still in small boy territory here. We aren't even at the big boy playground. But we'll get there. Panda Tube will get there. Alright, we're done with our marketing campaign. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of... I was going to say Sim Airport. Can you believe that? It's a wonderful game, but I'm confusing two games. 
Startup company, of course. Uh, do you see airports here? Do you see aircraft here? Do you see an ATC tower here? No. I don't know why I was going to say sim airport. But hey, thank you for tuning in. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you next week with some more startup company. Until then, goodbye.